they would do themselves a favor by stopping watching magic. They'd do themselves a lot of, they'd be better off watching movies and going to art galleries and uh, going on a hike and traveling and going to comedy shows and getting inspired by other things. Then bring it to your chosen art and, and let it come. This is so interesting because I, I would normally wear um, a hummingbird pendant around my neck, right? Uh-huh. A hummingbird skull. And the reason that is, is there's a speech by uh, an author called Elizabeth Gilbert on Oprah Winfrey's network. It's like a TED talk yep. type thing. Um, I forget what the actual speech is called, but her point is um, it's, very, it's just very good for creators and people like us because she talks about how when she was growing up, um, she always felt like she didn't know what she wanted to do. And everyone was like, well, do you want to be this? Do you want to be a doctor? Or do you want to be a lawyer? Or do you want to be a writer? Or do you want to be this? And she used to say, well, I like, like lots of things. And was always feeling troubled by that. Um, and I identify that because I, I genuinely enjoy doing lots of things. So sometimes someone said to me, well, how can you be an actor and a business person? I'm like, why not? And they might make a presumption. They're like, oh, well, the acting's not going very well, is it? I was like, why is that? They're like, well, because you're running a business. And I'm like, what makes you think you can't do both? Uh, or be interested in both? And I would always say, you know, they actually feed in and help each other, right? Even, even the ones that look like they don't. Well, this speech with Elizabeth Gilbert, she was saying how this hummingbird theory that she found um, is that the hummingbird takes a little from that plant and then cross-pollinates plants. And it goes around and it buzzes around to these different plants. And that's how you get new species of plants. She said the same exists in uh, life, entrepreneurship, and the creative arts. You know, If you didn't have hummingbirds in industries, you wouldn't have medical tech or you wouldn't have human rights law because all like the medical people would be doing medical all the tech people would be doing tech and they wouldn't ever cross pollinate. It's only when you have a doctor that understands tech that goes, Hey, maybe this will work over here, you know, or, and that, that's, you know, you look at um, another podcast I listen to a guy called Ty Lopez. He always talks about how he go, he only goes to conferences of things outside of his industry. He said, you know, like he's one of the most successful social media marketing people in the world, right? He said, so you won't find me at a social media marketing conference unless they're paying me to speak. He goes, you know where you'll find me? At an agriculture conference. Right, right. And I get people say, why are you going to an agriculture conference? He said, because there's going to be one element of what someone says there that I think no one's using that in social media marketing. Yeah. This concept or this idea or this way of doing things, I can take that to this industry and I can thrive with it. And I think that's the sort of cro- the cross pollination we're talking about. That's that's the good stuff, and that's how you get innovation, and that's how you move forward. <laughs>